Om Shanti, we are continuing with yesterday's Murli dated 2nd April 2008. The title of the Murli is, This year become an authority of experience in all four subjects and make the aim and its qualification equal to it. The essence of this Murli is, today's Murli is, today Baba is meeting the different groups and other serviceable instruments. Baba says, accumulating in your account of charity at the conference age will be useful for a long time. Baba also mentioned that fix a day for the revelation with the pen of your intense effort for transformation. Make new plan full of zeal and enthusiasm. Give zeal and enthusiasm to one another and make everyone free from obstacles. Madhuban Vasi now not only have to claim for number one, instead have to become number one in being equal to the father, whether others become that or not, but I have to become that. Baba has also given homework today. Baba gave time period of six months. Do not look at others. Do not give any reasons and excuses. He also addressed to double foreigners and said that you are not just double foreigners, you are double intense effort makers. And Baba is pleased that they have paid good attention to their own individual effort. And in the last, Baba have addressed to mothers, Kumaris, senior brothers, senior sisters, Pandavas, and few guests who had arrived to Shantiva. So now, let's begin the Murli of today's Murli. Om Shanti. 
Hope I am audible. Yes, sister. It was Punjab's turn to serve. Along with the Punjab zone, there were other northern states of India. It has been said that Punjab is a lion. And so they have brought a very good number. Everyone now knows that Punjab is a lion. And this is why all of you have arrived here with zeal and enthusiasm. And Punjab has accumulated so much charity. People serve just one Brahmin. And even in that, imagine what type of Brahmin would that be? Whereas you have served so many Brahmins and that also true Brahmins. You have accumulated in your account of charity every day. This is also a method in the drama of easily increasing your account of charity. Those who come with this zeal and enthusiasm can accumulate in their account of charity a great deal in a few days. Accumulating in your account of charity at the confluence age will be useful to you for a long time. Accumulating in your account of charity at the confluence age will be useful to you for a long time. Baba saw Punjab service report and Bab Dada has already given congratulations. There are service centers, Gita Patshalas, and there is good expansions taking place. This time in everyone's mind, there was a great wave of zeal and enthusiasm for service at the time of Shivratri. Now, wherever you go, whether through media or functions, you have shown very good zeal and enthusiasm for service. What are you going to do now? Baba is asking. Now, the thought that each one of you has had, we are definitely going to reveal the Father. Fix a date for that with the pen of your transformation. It will not be set with a pencil. The date for revelation will easily be fixed with the pen of your intense effort for transformation. Now Bab Dada will see which zone has the one number one report that in their whole zone, everyone will remain free from obstacles and determine in their thoughts, words, deeds, relationships, and connections. Who will become number one in this? Who will become number one in this? Not just the centers. First of all, make the centers strong. And then strengthen the centers in your connection. And then strengthen the zoom. Those from abroad too. Bab Dada is giving this work to both those from this land and those from abroad. Who will become number one? Ask yourself. In Bharat, there are the zones and abroad, you have done it in your own way. 
you have created the zones of America, Africa, etc. Who will become number one free from obstacle? It is possible, is it not? Is it possible for the whole zone to become free from obstacles? Is it possible? Speak, those in the first line speak. Is it possible? Chan P, speak. Is it possible? Acha, teachers stand up. Bab Dada is pleased to see so many teachers. Why? Because teachers are Guru Bhais. There were 200, 2,100 teachers have come over there. It is good that the teachers are instruments to be free from obstacles and to create an atmosphere that is free from obstacles. So the teachers will keep an aim. You will keep an aim and a fix a date. The father will not do that. Each Zoom should make plans and give inspiration to one another. Any Zoom that has a new plan full of zeal and enthusiasm should give zeal and enthusiasm to one another and make everyone free from obstacles. Think yourself. Are we going to be free from obstacles? And then only think about raising your hands. You should raise your hands. Now, the hands that are making effort are being raised. But before revelation takes place, everyone's hand should be raised. We are, we are and will remain free from obstacles for all time. When the hand of everyone in such a gathering is raised in this way, imagine what will happen. There'll be such a wonder. Your devotees will become happy and they too will clap at their own places. Va, wow, my special beloved DT, va. Wow. So, you are going to do this now. Are you not? Imagine yourself as DT and your devotees are applauding for you. Are you going to do it? Those from Madhuban. Madhuban has to come in the first number. You are not going to just claim number one. You have to do it because now everyone is attracted to Madhuban. As we know, there is sorrow all over the world. And that is why many more souls are coming towards Madhuban. As soon as you say Madhuban, you remember Baba of Madhuban. Isn't it? This is the speciality of Madhuban. So you have to become number one in being equal to the father. Should Baba say just one thing to those from Madhuban? Should Baba say one thing? Raise your hands. Raise your hand. You will then have to do it. Will you do it? Will you? Baba is repeating this question again and again. Only few hands were raised for this. Each one of you, each one of you residents of Madhuban should give yourself a responsibility. A responsibility. And what is that responsibility? I definitely have to become equal to the father. 
whether others become that or not. I have to become that. You can take responsibility for yourself. Can you not? Put aside others. At least take the responsibility for yourself that you have to become that. I definitely have to demonstrate it. The atmosphere, the atmosphere from all of you will help many souls. If you do it, if you take this responsibility for yourself, automatically the atmosphere for others will also be helpful. Do not look at others thinking, this one is not doing this. This one is not changing. Let me change. Let me change. Others will change by themselves. Let me take the responsibility for myself. Will you do this? Those from Madhuban are also sitting at back. Acha, how much time should you be given? Should Baba ask you for a result in six months' time? Baba is giving us homework. How can you change yourself? He is giving six months. Is six months enough? Those who feel that they will change and do not look at others because Bab Dabda is there to look after them. Do not speak about others and say, this one is like this and that one is like that. No. The father will look after that. You don't have to worry about them. I have to change. Sisters of Madhuban, raise your hands. Acha. Sisters will also do this, will you not? The Shakti army has to stay ahead. For six months, do not look at others. For six months, do not look at others. Do not give reasons or excuses. From now onwards, that is from the next Baba Milan. There's a six months gap. So in this six months, we need to change ourselves and not others. So do not give any reasons or excuses. This one did this. They will definitely do that. They will cause trouble because Maya is listening. Is she not? Situation will come. There will be upheaval. You may say that there shouldn't be any situation. But it cannot be like that because situations are not in our control. So they will arise. However, I have to change. Is that all right? Is that all right? Acha. Teachers. Teachers are instruments. All teachers, whether young or old, do not be young in this. All are mature. Do all of you teachers have courage? Baba is giving six months. Those who will do this, raise your hands. Situations will come. Don't say, I try. There is no try now. There is no try now. You have to do it. Let there be the attraction, that kashish of the father's love. I am going to do that. No more try. No more try. No more koshish. Is this okay, teachers? Teachers, raise your hands. Raise both your hands. Are all of you looking? They have raised their hands. Congratulations. Teachers and residents of Madhuban should be number one. 
those who take the initiative are Arjuna. Arjuna means equal to the father. Do not give any reasons or excuses. Just be Arjuna. Reasons will come. Reasons as big as mountains will come. But do not lose your courage. Welcome. Say welcome to the reason and bid them farewell in a second. The key for the reason is the key of the three points. The key to success is the three dots. Always keep this with you. Acha. Teachers can now sit down. Now it is a turn of Karnatak Zoom. Those from the Karnatak Zoom have come having done the one-year service project of making Karnataka golden. Babdada saw that you have done good service. However, much you have engaged your body, mind, and wealth in that. And you have done that with your heart. So they have engaged their mind, wealth, and body to do the successful task that Baba had given to them. For having had the program of making Karnataka golden, Baba Dada is giving multi million full congratulations and blessings from his heart. You have made a good plan and also put it into practical form. Gents don't make plans. You need to make it practical for that. Bab Dada has already seen your board before seeing this board here. You may sit down. Now it's turn of double foreigners. Now, double foreigners should not just be called double foreigners, but double intense effort makers. You are double effort makers. Are you not? It is good. Bab Dada saw that all the groups that have come turn by turn have paid good attention to their own individual effort. Teachers have also worked hard and you yourselves have also made good effort. Baba also received letters from many. You have experienced intense effort. Baba is asking to double foreigns that you have experienced intense effort. And this is why you are not just double effort makers, but double intense effort makers. Bab Dada is seeing that the aim for service that the double intense effort making children had, that no village in their area should be left out. You have paid very good attention to that. And you have also made plans. Now, there won't be any complaints, will there? No one from any village or city will be able to complain to say, sorry. Now, there won't be any complaints, will there? No one from any village or city will be able to complain to you, saying that you did not tell them. What? Our father came and you did not even tell us. At that time, they will cry out. Will they not? If you don't tell anybody about that the father has come out, in the end, they will cry out. They will blame you. And this is why you have enthusiasm for service and also pay attention to self-progress. Intense effort means 
intense effort means that when you are corrected for a mistake once, you don't make the same mistake again. It should not be that the same mistake continues to happen all the time. And you say that you are intense effort makers. You do the mistake and then you say that I'm intense effort makers. No, that is not the way. That is not called intense effort maker. Pap Dada has heard that there is a group of intense effort makers in Madhuban. That group, raise your hands. Stand up, intense effort maker, makers, so that everyone can see you. They are not any sisters. They aren't any sisters. So, did you understand the meaning of intense effort? That once you make a mistake, Mother Chakdamba had drawn everyone's attention to this in the early days. You say that you are intense effort makers and yet you continue to make the same mistake again and again. So what correction did you make? So the group of intense effort makers from the residents of Madhuban those living near and around Madhuban. And Bab Dada has given the double foreigners this title, the double intense effort makers. If you continue to make the same mistake again and again, what will happen? The name of intense effort makers becomes spoiled. Underline this, don't make mistake again and again and don't call yourself by making mistake that I'm intense effort maker. You're spoiling that name. That is why this group of intense effort makers has to pay attention. It is good that you have created a group among yourself and you are doing very well. Acha, double foreigners, Pap Dada is pleased and you have to please him about one more thing. And what is that? Never isolate yourself from the combined form. To isolate yourself means to welcome Maya. Therefore, take the benefit of the combined form of the almighty authority and pay attention. Pay attention because Maya isolates you at the right time. Always remain combined. Always keep Baba with you. Bab Dada has told you earlier too that double foreigners love to have company and a companion. So, since the father is offering you himself, never isolate yourself. I'm always ready to give you company. Baba is telling, I'm always ready to give you company. The result is good, but you have to show it even better than the best. Acha. You have created a very good system of coming for every turn. Now, abroad has come. Now, abroad has become such that India feels further away and the land abroad seems closed. We are seeing that in abroad, many services have taken intense effort to spread the service of Baba. So, those from abroad are very clever. Why they are clever? Because they make preparation for their next year ticket in advance. Bab Dada likes this cleverness of those from abroad. Acha. Now Baba is meeting the mothers and Kumaris. There were three quarters of the hall was full of mothers and Kumaris. <laughs> 
do the mothers and kumaris have intoxication the mothers of the confluence age the shiv shaktis are no less seeing the mothers babdata is pleased about one thing he is also pleased seeing the pandavas but the mothers have become shiv shaktis from being the innocent mother now mothers are no more innocent they have shiv shaktis they have accepted the challenge from father that mothers are issuing issuing a challenge that they have will definitely make bharat into heaven so the mothers have courage they are courageous mother bab dada is also giving special salutation to the mothers acha you are the shiv shakti army you definitely have to show wonders have the intoxication if we don't do this who will do this acha baba is speaking to pandava pandavas have speciality they have always been the companions of the father of the pandavas the pandavas have been portrayed in the memorial of attaining victory pandava means victorious soul so the speciality of the pandavas is that they are loved by pandav pati the name of pandavas is the companions of pandava pati the part of the shiv shakti is their own but without the pandavas without the pandava the support for the expansion of services reduced the shiv shaktis are those who give sakash and the pandavas are those who create as and cooperative souls look the huge programs could not have taken place without the pandavas this is why there is a memorial of chaturbhuj the four armed image the shiv shaktis cannot do anything without the pandavas and the pandavas cannot do anything with the without the shaktis so both are needed for each other this is why the tilak of victories apply to the forehead of each pandava now make that image on the forehead of each pandava bab dada sees that tilak of victory apply vijay bhava ki tilak so it is good everyone feel that this is the last meeting and this is why baba has met everyone Baba also met those from Madhuban, and Bab Dada also remembers the tiny Sangam Bhavan, Bhavan, which is there, situated at, at Mount Abu. They work very hard, and they work with a lot of love. Those from Sangam Bhavan stand up. Acha, you may be engaged in service, but you do that with your heart, day and night. day and night you work very hard you do it with love and this is why pap dada says you may be little little means numbers but you do a great task and because of love being the basis of their work all of you have received salvation at first not so many trains used to come here at mount abu there were no more facilities of trains to mount abu so now so many trains come and it is with the impact of their service that all of you receive good facilities therefore all of you give congratulations from your heart to this few servers congratulation then for the cha sangam bhavan souls acha now the meeting has taken place now no one can complain 
that Baba didn't meet them. Baba met everyone, did he not? The children have been left out. Somebody said the children have been left out. There are many children, very good. There cannot be any splendor without children. And seeing children, everyone feels a lot of love for them. Even Bab Dada is pleased. Wow, the luck of the children is there. They have, seen, they have been saved in their childhood from so many things. Children are those who have been saved from the things of Maya. At the very young age, they have been trained for this. You are such children, are you not? Are you like that? Raise your hand. You have been saved. A child, bacha, is one who is saved. They are bache hue hai. And children are long lost and now found beloved children. So continue to move forward. Children also perform wonders. Bab Dada slogan is, the older ones are old, but the young ones are equal to God. You will become equal, will you not? You will become equal to the Father and become instruments in front of the world. Baba is addressing to the children. All of you children make intense effort, not just effort, but intense effort. You are such a good children, are you not? You are good. Those who are good, raise your hand. There are also Kumaris in them. It is good. Sometimes Bab Dada has seen that in their effort, the children go ahead very much more than their parents. Sometimes children remind their parents. When parents fluctuate, the children say that they will tell their teachers. We always you know, will complain to the teachers that this and this person is not doing properly. The children say to their parents that they will say to their teachers, but Baba says, however, say it with love. Don't say it with anger. Say it with love. It is good. Janak, addressing to Dadi Janki. Janak, have a special party for those, these children. Both you and Nirvarbhai should give them a party. The children will be happy because they love being in party. And always remain happy. Don't cry. Not even sometimes, but always remain happy. Don't cry. Don't sulk. Give them a party. Achha. So Baba is using this strategy to make the children happy or by giving them the party. Now Baba has met everyone. So why should they come in a line? It feels good. It feels good that if the Mela doesn't take place in Madhuban, it feels very quiet. This is why all of you have come to the Mela. And it is God's love. It is God's love that is pulled here. You here. Those who have come here for the first time, raise your hand. The long lost and now found children who have come here for the first time. Congratulations for coming here for the first time. Bab Dada is giving all of you a special blessings. The blessing is just as you made effort and became worthy to come here and claim this fortune in the same way, may you always remain immortal. When Maya comes, close Maya gate. When Maya comes, close Maya's gate. Do you know Maya's gate? It is the body conscience of I and my. If you close this gate of I and mine, you will remain immortal because you are immortal. Are you not? Are you immortal? What will you do if Maya comes? 
will you make an intense effort to remain immortal and make others immortal acha now in one second remain stable in the intoxication of the spiritual elevated self respect of being seated on bab dada's heart throne become absorbed in the experience of being so a soul seated on the heart throne experiences experience baba's love by sitting on the heart throne of baba acha to all the extremely lovely soul who always remain absorbed in the father's love to the special souls who have maintained their self respect and their right to the self sovereignty to all those everywhere who fly with their wings of zeal and enthusiasm to those who make the atmosphere peaceful and elevated with the vibration of their mind to those who give everyone the father's message who liberate them from the sorrow and give them the inheritance of liberation to those who always achieve success with determination to all the children everywhere who remain close to the heart and who come here personally face to face to all the children love and affection from the heart together with the blessings from the heart love remembrance and namaste from we children from the heart love remembrance and namaste to bab dada namaste to bab dada shukriya baba shukriya i think i should stop here because it's already 6:10 and we can take the rest of the murli for the homework baba is met to the dadis who are working together and they were the jewels adi ratans baba is happy to see them continues to see everything that more your gathering becomes an instrument to give others salvation then baba is speaking to ramesh bhai that for the accounts to be easy continue to understand what others sees just to signals and continue to give signals because the sisters don't know how to keep the account so much after that baba is speaking to dr anila to bopal bhai to golak bhai and there was special special there was annual meeting for all the madhuban members and that there, there was a title for this all year also was given and that was to be finalized papa then met the senior sisters from abroad from the retreat centers papa saw that you have paid very good attention and you have demonstrated by serving with your heart till the last group sister janti gave remembrance from those of italy speaking to mera meera ben she was a she has been a good companion now those from abroad have understood all matters at first you have were new and now you have known everything about what you have to do and what you cannot do to chandras chandras dada he was he had an issue of illness so baba is talking about him to settle the karmic account then there was cousin by the owner of nirma group with his wife the specialty is that you have love for the murli baba is mentioning that you have love for the murli so those who have love for the murli have love for the murli da and there was special guest there were three guests who had arrived to shantivan and baba had also addressed them so we'll stop here om shanti we'll have few moments in silence and then we can chant the murli
Om Shanti. We can unmute ourselves and we can share the mulis that have touched you. Om Shanti. Uh, good morning, everyone. Very beautiful uh, murli and very well rendered. Very calmly and very, uh, there was very clarity in, the re in rendering of the murli. Uh, the point which touched me today was, my Baba says, fix a date for the plans of your transformation. Do not look at others, but make your own efforts and they can become an intense effort maker. Here Baba says, the uh, Baba gives the meaning of uh, exact meanings of meaning of intense effort maker. That is, when you are corrected once for your mistake, you will not repeat it again. This is uh, the uh, this is called intense effort maker. And Baba also says that for six months, do not look at others, do not give excuses, do not give reasons. Then there will be upheaval. You need to take a firm decision also and that you have to change. No koshish, no buts, no it's everything. That's it. Thank you. Okay, anybody else would like to share? Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Um, today, Baba said to double foreigners that you are double intense effort makers. So you are intense effort makers because you do not repeat your mistakes. So uh, Baba has given us, uh, to told us to give attention so that we do not repeat our mistakes every time because then we won't be call, uh, called as intense effort makers, just effort makers. So this is the point. And also Baba appreciated Dadis for uh, uh, working uni unitedly together. So Baba appreciates the power of gathering. So he uh, inspires us to adjust with everyone in the Sagar Sangatan and do the best seva possible. Om Shanti. Yes, we are double. So we have to make ourselves firm that we are double intense effort maker. And we also have to become free from all obstacles. Baba says yes. that reasons will come and they will come. Yes. Om Shanti, sister. Uh, my takeaway point is Baba's homework. At least six months, no more try. I'll change myself. I have to change myself. Yes, Baba. All right. Baba is asking, is it all right? I'm saying, yes, Baba. It's all right. I have to change. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, sisters. Yes, we have to change ourselves by not looking at others. Yes, sister. Yes. Yes, Sandhya. Om Shanti, Baba has also said that uh, just do not make plans, just do not keep making plans, but put it into practical. Be a practical person. And while doing practicals, um, big uh, reasons as big as mountains will definitely come. Do, uh, but you do not shake. Instead, welcome those reasons uh, um, with a determined thought and face them. Om Shanti. And what is the solution for that reason? When you solution. welcome the reason, yeah, when you welcome the reason, so yes. what solution? Reason should not be the part of your life, right? So what can yes. be the solution for that? What you have to remember for that? How you're going to give the solution for that, those reasons? De face them, deter. Yes, we have to face them, but how we are going to get the solution of the reason. Reasons will come. Definitely, there will be upheavals, there will be situation arise. So Baba has mentioned in the Murli that how you are going to face those reasons. What are the key points for them?
Yes, anybody can else can reply for this? this three dots. Yes, you have to remember the three dots, the three points. That is only the key to success. I am the soul. I am a point. The father is a point, and the drama is also the point. So when you keep with this with you, you're going to have success. Yes, anybody else? Baba has also mentioned that koshish nahi karne, koshish nahi karna. Don't just say try, I will do this and I'll do that. So Baba said, don't say that there is no try. Now let this try, attraction of the father's love, more intense. Baba, Baba. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Om Shanti, sister. Yeah. Also, uh, besides what everybody else has said, one though this has come in the earlier mudlis also, but I think it's very significant to remind ourselves that first I have to take responsibility for my own self. I mean, even now, many times, even I face this, that at times that Maya will come in and you start looking at others around you, snake you, Asikya, and and then you try to correct yourself. So you have to just keep reminding yourself that you first take responsibility for your own self. You forget the focus on others. Others ko sirf saakash dena hai. Others ko sirf bless karna hai. You know? You, and you just focus and change yourself. I think that uh, comes in every mudli and in this one also it came. So it's an important reminder. Om Shanti. Yes, and that is why we need to be soul conscious. And when we are in soul conscious, we can change ourselves. Yes, Sandhya, when you were saying something. Uh, yeah, I, uh, Baba has told that uh, remain immortal and make others in, uh, remain immortal and make others also immortal. What exactly is the meaning of this immortal? Remain immortal means I was just trying to. To remain immortal means forever. You are living forever. You are you are saved from the sins. So you are like immortal. The like father is immortal. So we have to be the child of immortal, master immortal. We are not going. The souls are never die, right? Uh huh. Okay. Souls are eternal. So the, we are immortal. Okay, thank you. Yes, anybody else would like to share or we can move towards meditation? In today's Murli, Baba has also mentioned that, that those who have love for the Murli will become free from obstacles. So we should always, without missing a single day, we should always listen to the Murli. Sakar Murli or Avyak Murli? Both the Murlis. Every day we have to listen for both the Murlis. Sakar Murli is every day and Avyak Murli is every Sunday. So every day, we have to read the Murli or we have to listen to the Murli. So when you listen to the Murlis, you'll become obstacle free. Acha, hope everybody is done with their sharing. Then we can move towards the meditation. We shall only have a silence. There will be a meditation music, but we'll keep ourselves in silence. So sit back and relax and absorb the rays of love from the Supreme Souls. <laughs>
Om Shanti. Before closing this session, we have a small announcement for this Sunday. This Sunday also we have Murli Mantan session. Dr. Manoj Bhai is going to take this session. So we are going to read the Murli of this week. You can leave the party ke mulakat and focus on the main Murli. And so that we can churn on this Sunday about, about it on the Murlis that we are going to conduct. Murli session we are going to conduct on Sunday. Om Shanti. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Baba. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. 5.30 a.m. Om Shanti.